we will be discussing the third component of board and management meeting that is director's report right so this is the third component which we have to discuss right now now if i talk about our uh, director's report so what actually is director report right so in previous lectures we have discussed about board and management report and we have already covered management discussion and analysis part and we have also discussed report on corporate governance now the third important component is director report right now why director report is important right in corporate governance report we have seen that uh, every company they have to provide the composition of board right or composition of management that who are the directors who are the managing directors of company who are the ceo and cfos of the company right and in corporate governance report you will get that what are the responsibilities of directors ceo cfos etc right now in directors report what director will be doing they will be providing the information that whether they have performed their responsibilities properly or not right what kind of responsibilities responsibilities which are mentioned in companies act 2013 and also some other responsibilities which are not mentioned in companies act 2000 30 right so we will be checking here now very first idea which i would like to give you let's suppose if company is earning a profit right definitely if company is earning a profit so they will be distributing that profit to their shareholders it is the primary responsibility of company if company is earning profit so they should distribute some profit to the shareholders right now who will be deciding that how much profit they will be distributing this thing is to be decided by board of directors right so dividend is the primary responsibility of shareholder or you can say directors right shareholders they always demand for dividend right now the first responsibility is a uh, distribution of dividend so they have to provide the information that how much dividend they have distributed and by what method they have uh, calculated that this much dividend should be uh, given to the shareholders right so if you see here so basically these dividends are to be allocated or distributed uh, from their current year profit sometimes they can use previous year profit also but company has to uh, give dividend only if company is earning profit right so here if you see they will provide detail about that how much profit company has earned right they will provide details that how much profit company has earned so here you can see uh, net profit for the year they have provided the detail right then net profit attributable to the owner is given here and not controlling non-controlling interest is given right so here they have provided the policy of dividend how they will be distributing the dividend so break dividend and protect the interest of investor double head in a place dividend policy sinks long they are having their own policy right that how much dividend they will be distributing it is not necessary the director should distribute 100 percent profit to their shareholders it it can be decided by the directors how much uh, profit they want to share with shareholders right policy has been revised uh in the board meeting 7th may 2021 in accordance with the regulation of 43a of the sebi right so here if you want to read about dividend declaration policy so you will get the information if you want to read more about this thing right further if you see let's suppose if company is earning here uh, company has earned profit of 16 1694 crore right? and board has decided that they will be distributing 1000 crore dividend right so remaining amount will be transferred that is total profit is 1694 company has decided they will be distributing dividend 1000 crore so remaining profit will be how much remaining profit will be 694 crore that is to be transferred in reserves right so they have to provide a detail about reserve also that how much profit they have transferred in the reserves right so this information will be provided here right so you can read it that company has how much transfer how much dividend they have paid and how much reserves they have transferred right so if you see they have given the detail about dividend also company has paid an interim dividend of 1.75 per share right and if you further see we are pleased to recommend a dividend of three per share of rupee one each fully paid up being 300 percent so company is paying this uh dividend in such a manner right so you can see sometimes company is paying 300 percent dividend as compared to the face value of share so these details you will be getting here so directors they have to provide the detail at how much dividend they have distributed and what is the logic behind distribution of dividend right unpaid and unclaimed dividend what is unplaned and unclaimed dividend unpaid dividend or unclaimed dividend means basically the shareholders who have not received a dividend what could be the reason why they have not received a dividend so if you see nowadays every company they transfer dividend 
through NEFT, right? Or they directly transfer dividend into your bank account. So there could be chances that that some shareholders they have not provided their bank account details or their bank the details which they have provided that bank account, bank account is not working or there could be some other reason. Let's suppose company has declared the dividend directors they have declared the dividend but due to some fund issues they are not able to distribute the dividend to uh, shareholders, right? So they have to provide the, these information in directors report. Right. Now, if I talk about financial statement, what is the another responsibility of director? Director has to confirm this thing that when company is preparing financial statement, they are complying all the uh, all the uh, compliances or procedure related to preparation of financial statement. So when any company prepare financial statement, they have to follow the accounting standard or accounting rules which are provided by government of India or Ministry of Co uh, Corporation Affairs. Right. So if I talk about uh, if you want to prepare your financial statement, you have to follow the accounting standards, updated accounting standards. So now if you are preparing fin your financial statement, you have to follow schedule three format. Right. So directors will check whether they are following this thing or whether your company is following this particular thing when they are preparing their financial statement. So they have to provide all these details in annual report. Right. So if you, if you see financial statements, so they have given the detail how they will be preparing the consolidated financial statement. These details are given here. Right. So you can read each and every detail. Then if I talk about corporate governance, so whether company has complied the norms which are given in corporate governance or not this is to be provided in director's report right further they are providing details of directors right uh, what is the din of director who is the director you will be getting same details here also key managerial person details you will be getting in this report then e-shop information whether company has given any uh, e-shop to uh, their employees or to their directors they have to provide this detail right now in previous uh, lecture we have discussed about audit committee right what will be the responsibility of audit committee the audit committee look after the work of auditor whether auditor is performing audit properly or not right so here they have to provide the details that how statutory audit uh, they have con uh, they have conducted statutory audit in the organization whether auditor they have performed the audit properly or not right so they have to provide all these responsibility statement right so here you can say director's responsibility statement so what uh, what is the responsibility and whether they have complied those responsibility or not so they have to provide details here right so statutory auditor and their report internal financial control system whether internal financial control system is working properly or not right these all information is to be provided by directors of the company right further if you see we will see what other things can be uh, checked here development and implementation and whether they have complied those responsibility or not so they have to provide details here right so statutory auditor and their report internal financial control system whether internal financial control system is working properly or not right these all information is to be provided by directors of the company right further if you see we will see what other things can be uh, checked here development and implementation of risk management we have seen they have to uh, create a risk management committee right so whether this has been properly implemented or not or whether uh, risk management committee is working properly or not these all information they will be providing here in director's report right so they have to provide uh, detail about subsidiary also if you see there are some other information a change in capital structure and listing of shares right they have to provide this thing also if there is change in any capital structure so they will be providing the details right environment health and safety review they have to check whether their company is taking care of environment or not whether their company is uh let's suppose if company is manufacturing something definitely they will be uh using some hazardous uh, uh this uh mode to manufacture their product so whether those hazardous products are properly managed or not right let's suppose if company is having big chimneys in their organization right and they are they are releasing pollution in the nature so what methods company is taking to reduce that pollution right whether they are following the norms of government or not right so these all details they have to provide whether they are able to comply or not right so if you see these all things they will be providing in director report so you can see they have to provide these details now i think an excess will be there so whatever things we have read right now if you want to check the details you will be getting the 
annexer here right so these are the annexes if you want to read these things in detail so you can read the annexes right so now in coming lectures we will be discussing about financial statement that what how company is performing now till now what we have done we have done the analysis that is qualitative analysis right now we will be doing quantitative analysis in coming lecture right so qualitative analysis is equally important right so you should do proper qualitative analysis before investing into in any company right so stay tuned with us for better and more learning thank you